how did the world treat Jesus? I'll tell you how the world treated Jesus. They started plotting against him, trying to figure out how to get him killed. Then they beat him bloody, convicted him of something he never did, didn't really convict him, took him out and nailed him to a cross and killed him. That's how the world treated Jesus. And you know what Jesus said? He said that the world would treat us, the people who follow him, the same way the world treated him. I can assure you that there's a whole bunch of Christ followers, Christians, in churches in Ukraine that are being treated the way they treated Jesus because they're following Jesus. The church in Ukraine is under persecution, just like it's been all around the world. And it's being treated just like Jesus was treated. My heart breaks for the Christ followers in Ukraine, for everybody in Ukraine. It's a tragedy. There is persecution and devastation because people follow Jesus Christ. They follow Jesus Christ and they're getting the same kind of treatment he got. That's how it works sometimes. In the end, they, they will live because of Jesus. I just posted a video earlier about the fact that even though you die, you're going to live. He's going to come back and you're going to be raised to the dead. The same Holy Spirit who raised Jesus from the dead will raise you from the dead. But we have brothers and sisters, churches in Ukraine, people who are, you know, congregations of Christ followers are being devastated in a war right now. And it's a tragedy of all tragedies. It's the worst thing that's happened since World War II. And they killed Jews and Christians and everybody else in World War II over there, doing the same thing today. The church is under persecution in Ukraine. It's a tragedy of tragedies. And we need to be in prayer for those folks. Now, I hope you'll subscribe to this channel. It's simple. I teach the Bible. It's called Life in the God Lane. Hit the subscribe thing. Hit the bell. I'll have, I teach the Bible every day on this channel. Pray for Ukraine. I will talk to you soon.